Okay, here we go. Gonna attempt to put together the wings. So somewhat instructional. Boy, that's broken. I didn't see that. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, gonna put together the wings. I've already, for the sake of expedience, put these axle pieces, axle one and two, onto uh, just randomly wings, right? It just turned out this way. I didn't try and do this, but hey, why not? Um, I'm gonna grab out my crazy glue because I might need it. I'm only gonna need this actually for putting together the button mechanism. So I'm gonna walk you through that first. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's get started. Starting with the top body, I think that's what I named it. And the top body detail, which I think I also named it. Um, this, we just line up the slots. Jeez, I don't even have a good view on my camera to see if I'm even showing this right. Yeah, it looks like we are. Okay, here we go. So we just line up slots here. This is straightforward, right? I'm not gonna glue this piece down because I don't need to for this to work, to demonstrate this, All right? That's the first step. Then there's a piece called the X-wing latch base or something like that. Maybe switch base, I forget what I call it. It looks like this. Uh, this gets coupled with the X-wing latch or switch bottom. It looks like this. It's two pieces like this so that it can print cleanly. Otherwise, it would have been one piece that's just like together like this. And just as an overview, what happens so once these two pieces are glued together, they put, become a part of this switch that slides back and forth. And when they slide back and forth, the X-Wing switch latch is what I think I named it. This guy is sitting on here. And there's this little wedge. There's this angle here, right? So we're creating a wedge. And as we slide the switch forward, it pushes down on that first wedge, making it uh, low enough to get the second wedge on there. Right, which pushes it down just a little bit lower. Now, because of that, there's weird things when you go to close it. If you're applying pressure at the wrong side of the button, it might not close all the way. Um, hey, I winged it, whatever. I don't know if there's a solution to that without, you know, I, I just don't know, whatever. That's what I came up with in my mind. It seemed to work, so I'm going with it. Um, and so we'll just demonstrate that. And I'll go ahead and glue these two pieces together um, actually I have this reversed. Let me flip this around. So what's happening is this switch bottom has a tail, if you will. That tail goes towards the back of the body. This is one of those things that just kind of keeps it from going back too far. It was unnecessary really, but I, it, it just gave me a good reference. Um, otherwise you're just dealing with this even thing. So what you have to do is figure out the front and the front is the piece that doesn't have a tail and you're gonna be lining it up, its edge, its leading edge with that wedge shaped bottom piece, just like that. And just glue it together. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is probably gonna be clogged. Uh, hopefully not. Oh, there we go. It's always clogged. The stuff like binds itself together and plugs up the hole and you end up cutting it down. So I'm just going to slap these two together. Just eyeballing it. Kind of using my fingers to keep it straight. That's it. Just like that. That's the non-intuitive part of this. Just make sure you got enough glue so this guy doesn't break off before you glue everything together. <laughs> Good luck with that. Um, and that's it for that guy. Once he's done, it's just a matter of inserting him into the bottom and making sure it can slide. A little bit of stickiness. If you got a problem, sand it down a little bit. There's only a little bit of clearance here. So when you put on this top detail, the buttons, X-wing button switch, something I renamed it. It used to be a part of the back or top detail. Now I've separated it out, added a little more detail to make it more like the movie. And this guy's got a slot in him. 
you just want to drop a little super glue down in there if you're doing it with PLA that's what I'm doing it with here so that it doesn't run you don't want it coming out of that slot you just want it to be able to secure this guy in here and even without doing that um, this will work you can slot it in and you don't really have to worry about it popping out it just but slot it in, make sure you got good action and all that good stuff. Action, yeah, good action. Oh, the other part, the other reason for that tail in this bottom piece is to cover up that slot so that you don't see the hole, right? Once it slides forward, there's no hole into the body. That was the other reason I forgot about. Uh, anyway, that's what that guy's doing. And you would just set him off to the side or something, right? Or once he's done. The wings, like I said, I've got the axles already at and this is pretty straightforward start with the bottoms or the tops you're just going to put these guys together opposite pieces i've got a top and a bottom so this is the top right bottom left i'm going to slot this guy in that's it straightforward and the same thing on this side i've already sanded these down a little so everything fits easily that's it next thing you'd want to do is line them up so that you got tops on tops, bottoms on bottoms, and you're gonna look for problems here, right? And what you're looking for is this to rest as flat as possible. This is looking pretty good, and that's only because I finagled it well before I started this video. So, but you may have to run hot water on it if there's warped a little um, to make everything work out. You might have to run some sandpaper uh, or emery board. Um, on the flat sides of the wings also this seemed to work hugely these rounded parts of the axles they can have little spurs and stuff that are going to push on the wing in a weird way and cause that to not work out and just kind of run that guy down like this or something and round it out just making sure it's smooth so he's not a part of the problem if you will and just look for it to rest oops <laughs> rest if you will in the closed position you also want to make sure that you've got the thinner longer slots on top and then you're going to put in your latch this guy you're going to have this ramp piece towards the front or towards the flat edge of the wing it really just slides through here you're going to try and make sure this hook comes through the bottom wing that's really what it's about it's supposed to slide completely through the top wing so you may have to sand the edges of this because it was really tight i didn't um allow any clearance there so you just sand it i'd rather have it too tight or perfectly aligned and you go ahead and adjust it to make it work for you then um to have it too small there's no way to put back material but you can take it off so that's that's what I'm going to do. All right, so here's a more challenging part. Um, looks like you just kind of go through the top wing first, the top wings first, and then you can start to go into the bottom of one side, apparently. <laughs> kind of. Just scooch it through there. Should have sanded a little bit more, right? And then once one is set, right, just kind of close them up and do the same on the other side. You can kind of line it up from the bottom or something and it should flex a little bit and since it's nothing's stuck together here you know it's going to kind of come apart but that's okay that's what you want and then again check it <clears throat> now this button it's going to help keep it closed help keep the wings closed because it's it kind of pulls up on the bottom is pushing down from the top so again, you check your, your alignment, make sure things are straight. Looks like I got a little bend here. I could do something with hot water, but I'm not gonna glue this together, so I'm not too worried about it. From here, if you're using a piece of filament, you'll want that to be as straight as possible. Any little bends in this, it's gonna try and offset what your wing alignment is doing. Um, so you just want to make sure that's good. Otherwise, your leading edges won't necessarily line up, and that won't be good. Right? Like, see how this is right now? It's just because I'm holding it this weird way, but, you know, you don't want that happening. Right? And then from there, if you're doing it like I've got it here, I've assembled basically the whole body, front piece of the body. 
so that I can just kind of take these two pieces and lock them together. And that allows me to pull it apart and change them in, uh, exchange them while I'm working on, you know, the design and such. Um, this is a good way to do it. Attach this top body, just click it right on there. Since I'm using this piece of filament, it kind of locks it there. There are these little tabs that I built into the back area of the bottom and top that might get in your way. They're supposed to lock it in, but it didn't work out so well. Oh well, if they're a problem for you, just kind of sand them down. But from here, I can just kind of tilt this in because I have this tab piece. I can kind of tilt this in behind R2. Get this collar on R2 here. Right? Make sure the wing stays together. Uh, and then just kind of slot it in and click, right? And then you're done. And in theory, if you've done everything right and everything's working, it'll try to open. I'm probably having some issues here from, I don't know, what am I having issues from? Oh, the top coming off. Or I have a bad version of this. What's our issue? I'm going to need to sand some things, but that's no problem. You've seen how it comes together. Here's one I did earlier. With, it's a slightly different design because I tried to make it so the X-Wing would expand more. That might have been a mistake. I'll find out after I sand this. Uh, in the meantime, to just demonstrate. I'm going to pull this guy apart and just swap them on. This is one of the reasons I put it together like this. So you can take this variant of it, <clears throat> which, by the way, has um, these cannons. I've made a new version of the cannon with more detail. This is the old one. Doing new, more stuff. So beyond adding the switch, I'm, I am adding details to things as we go. I've detailed out the back a little bit more. Uh, it used to look, no, not like that. What the hell is it? Oh. You should look like this. This is another version with the switch. Actually, this is the one that should go here. I'll do this so I won't, I won't have to worry about that switch not being glued together. This one is. All right. And where'd my phone go? Do something like that. Stick him in here. All right. Slot that filament in. And then it just looks cool like that. Looks like something I bought. I just think it's neat. Put this guy together. Or try. Mm -hmm. Oh, that pop that piece fell off. Alright. And then that's when things kind of work. So, <clears throat> I'm going to sand down the new one. If it turns out I've caused a problem with that redesign, which I hear is a thing. People trying to make their working, first working thing better, usually screw it up. Uh, if I did, I'll go back to this version, which has its own flaws in that when you go to close it, if you're not in the right spot of the button, it won't close all the way. But when it does, get that nice, satisfying click. Oh, I like that. That's it.